All right, YouTube, what's good? It's your boy, Leak Auto Repair. Um, this is the end of the week for me on Sunday and shit. Uh, finishing up on a lot of fucking jobs. Had time and belt jobs, radiator jobs, a um, bunch of diags and shit. Um, overall, it's been a shitty ass week, but I pulled through and shit. But for the most part, um, I guess on this video, it's gonna be a vlog. I wanna answer a few questions. Everyone been fucking hitting my shit up and getting the fuck on my nerves with, you know, just trolling my shit, complaining about stupid shit. And then I got my real subscribers who really, y'all really in, y'all like my shit, y'all like my videos and shit. So let me read a comment and I'm gonna answer it thoroughly as I can. And I wanna start answering comments and shit. Um, it's gonna be Sunday vlogs where we talk about shop shit and being a mechanic and uh, just the whole experience of everything. Talk about certain jobs or you got questions or whatever, career questions, whatever. How to questions don't matter. You can ask me, just leave them in the comments and I got you and shit. So give me a minute, I gotta find this comment and uh, I gotta put tools away and shit too. So, and I let my phone, actually I gotta let my phone charge, it's on 1%. So, if I'm gonna let my phone charge, I'm gonna pack my tools up and shit and we're gonna get back and I'm gonna answer the fucking question. All right, cool, I'm ready to go now. I got cleaned up, so let me go ahead and read it. So I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name right, whatever, look like a Spanish thing. Uh, Gio Polo, Pola, Gio Pola. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong and shit. But uh, basically, I'm gonna read the comment out loud. So you said, um, how do you feel about working at dealerships and working at a private or as to working at a corporation like being a technician at Firestone or these other companies? And then he also said that, uh, he says, I'm currently a technician at Firestone, still in my early, early stages of my career, but not sure if I want to be a tech or at a corporation like that. Hours suck and it seems like the corporation is always in tech's asses and shit. So, um, basically, if you want me to answer this question, what I think on it, um, how I feel about working at dealerships, working at uh, private shops, guys, pros and cons and shit. Good thing working at a dealership is that uh, the work is, I mean, straightforward. It's not a pain in the ass because they got all these specialty tools there. They set up on everything. You're gonna get cars damn near the same model, same engine all the fucking time and shit. They come in left and right. Everything is fucking routine. You might get like this one oil leak, pays fucking four hours, but you know you can get it done in like fucking two hours on a fucking 2014 Nissan, whatever, or Toyota, whatever dealership you at. And being as though you didn't did the same job over and over and over, everything becomes repetitious, repetitious. So in a way, working at a dealership is cool because sometimes it's straightforward, but then they, they got some cons I don't like about working at the dealership is uh, they be hiring too many fucking technicians, too many fucking technicians, and then when it's time they, for everybody to get fucking fed, some technicians are gonna be sure on fucking work. Motherfuckers robbing hours, still in work, all that shit, lying. Um, you know, you beefing with other technicians and shit. I ain't never been in that one dealership where I almost got in a rumble with somebody and shit. And they get crazy like that. Everybody gotta eat when you on flat rate, man. People be ready to chop heads off and shit. Um, what I don't like about, um, well, let's talk about other private corporations like Firestone or let's say Pet Boys and shit like that. Now, I never really cared to like work for those type of companies and shit because I just feel like it's just somebody like me. I can see myself just, just just quitting just like that and shit. Only because, I don't know if it's the type of work they, they got there. If anything, I'm concerned on how they pay the technicians and shit. Seemed like a lot of the guys I knew that worked there, some of them were making great money, but then some of them weren't making fucking money at all. And then uh, it's just, those shops got like a fucking bad name. I've always been a place, i always been a type of person. Uh, I want to work at someplace top notch or someone's fucking good or reputable or something like that. And so to me, Firestone and Pet Boys is 
Yeah, I think about it too. When you often, I don't know if you went to schools like UTI or like Lincoln Tech or Wild Tech or ATC or whatever fucking schools they got and shit like that. You get a lot of those young students that they hire them straight out of there to, to go work at Firestone and Pep Boys and they treat everybody the same. Y'all youngsters, they y'all treat y'all young motherfuckers the same. Get y'all the same pay, same type of work and shit. It's not inspiring at all. It's nothing influential about the shit or whatever, like real shit. So it's just at some point like if you starting off and you at like a firestone you need to worry about getting the fuck out of there you better off going to a fucking dealership worry about like getting in routine with flat 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 rate work start off fucking easy don't get yourself in a fucking jam with flat rate cause flat rate ain't that fucking good and i already talked about flat rate and my one fucking blog and shit if you go back like blogs from a couple months ago i talked about flat rate so let me see what else you got in this fucking comment and shit and i hope i'm answering your questions correctly my mind wanders when I fucking talk. So he says, you in your early stages of your career, not sure if you wanna be a technician. Hours suck, they always up your asses and shit. Dang man, how old are you? Cause you're probably young as shit. Young as shit, I feel bad for you starting off young as shit being a technician because everything fucking sucked. Number one that I hate the most, the pay sucks. Pay sucks when you first starting off doing this shit. Not only that, the learning curve is crazy because it takes years and years and years to see certain type of fucking problems, issues, and complaints, whatever. You're not gonna get everything on your first year, second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year, whatever. Shit takes time. You need over a plus decade to be able to just to handle this shit. Just like really manage shit like this. And if I was to do this all over again, I trust me, I wouldn't. I'd be fucking pushing paper and shit because after this, so many years of custom bruises and burn marks and bust your head open or cut, whatever, break your arm, injure, your back hurt, your back is always going to be fucking hurting. Shit takes a toll on your fucking body and at the end of the day, it ain't fucking worth it and shit. Um, and you also said, uh, they like to be up technician asses. That's uh, one of my biggest thing. I don't like working in places where they like being up tech's asses and shit. And one, it's like you got an invisible like whip and you giving me whip lashes and telling me to hurry the fuck up, hurry the fuck up and you being on my ass. I'm a grumpy ass mechanic. You be up my ass and shit, I'm gonna fucking snap on you. I don't give a fuck who's right, who's wrong. That's how I am. I snap out on people and shit. So, got pros and cons on working for a dealership, working for a private corporation or whatever. If anything, just take my advice. Just keep it simple. Go to a dealership or whatever. Start off at like a, a Honda, Chevy, or Toyota, whatever. Stay up in there. Stay away from Firestone. Stay away from Pep Boys. And um, you just worry about getting your fucking skill set up. And watch my fucking videos too, man. Because I, I got some good content getting up there and shit. And I'm always going to be uploading new shit. So um, this is going to be the end of the vlog. Because like I said, I'm going to be tired of shit editing and shit. And I want to get the fuck out of here Sunday and shit. So um, hope I answered your question good. Hope this was good information for you. Anybody else watching this, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. And this is uh, video one of Shop Talk, or vlog, whatever, number, whatever. But every Sunday, we're going to do Shop Talk. So if anybody got questions, leave it in the comments. I'll be sure to, uh, I screenshotted this one. I'll screenshot the others. And i read it out loud. And like I said, answer fucking questions and shit. And that's that. So I'm out of here. And see y'all in the next video.